Hey guys, running outside because apparently there's a fire out here while we're camping. I'm walking with my friend Donna to check out a possible fire in our campground. Donna said that uh, she thought she saw a little smoke a little earlier and we've got some lights over there. We're in a big um, forested area that's boondocking, but people have been coming in pretty rapidly because we're next to where there's going to be a rodeo. Yeah, it looks like there is quite a fire over there. It is, I'm gonna try not to fall down while I'm filming and walk at the same time. But um, it's not easy for us to get over there, but I see quite a bit of smoke and two fire trucks. So I hope whoever's camper that is is okay. We don't actually know if uh, it's a rig. I do see hoses in action putting something out. So now we have, I don't know, four fire trucks, an ambulance, and quite a bit of smoke. Oh, it looks like maybe it was a campfire that ran amok. And uh, Donna's been here a while longer than me and she said there is somebody over here who keeps leaving without putting out his campfire. So we'll see if that's what happened. Yeah, it definitely looks like a brush fire, but who knows how it started. <laughs> What's nice about this spot is we're really close to a town. So they probably got here pretty fast. Make sure I don't get in anybody's way here. Shoot. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad they're here to put this out. Wow. What started the fire? Not too sure yet. Glad you guys are here. I know, right? I asked him, he said they don't know yet. I bet you're right, I bet it was somebody's campfire. I know. Although it's like... No, nobody's camping over here, that's just it. But I had people over there who were not putting their fires out. Oh. Campers. Well, you're right. I haven't seen anybody over here. But you never know. It is like five and six o'clock in the evening. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Be a weird time for a campfire. Wow, they're really bringing out uh, more gear. That's a water truck. Ooh, the wind shifted. It's pretty smoky. You guys can see there's a lot of dry brush and uh, duff down here that can catch on fire, but um, it's been raining for weeks. Thank God for that. This could have spread a lot faster. I know it's hard to see because it's so smoky here, but um, it <laughs> wind shifted. It looks like they're actually getting a handle on it, believe it or not. It's really bad. We're camped about um, an eighth of a mile from this, really close to this. Pretty bad. Honestly. I don't understand. It started to flame again around the tree. Oh yeah, I can see red. Yeah. Can see it? Poor guy. Oh, smart. Well, it looks like they have it under control. We said thank you to all the firemen. They don't know what started it, 
But uh, there's a lot of people coming here to camp. And uh, they're not putting out their campfires. So you never know. Glad that they stopped it so fast before it got to any of the campers. This ground is super crispy now that the fire is out and it's not hot anymore. This is where they dug a trench around the tree and then filled it with water in here, which was brilliant because these trees were catching on fire. And here's the trench that they dug to stop the fire from spreading. They were here so fast, it was really impressive. So this is it, you guys. Luckily, they got it out pretty quickly. I talked to the head of the Forest Service Fire Division while we were here, who lived nearby, and he came running down here. And there were no signs of a campfire that had started this, or an RV, or anything like that. But if you look down on the ground here, look how crunchy this is. Do you see that? And, um, ugh, that's, that's all just soot. But I did ask him about the duff. I don't know if you guys saw the video I did last year when the forest fires were so bad about what duff is. I'd never heard of it until I interviewed a ranger in Colorado. So there's all this organic material on the ground and you see the pine needles fall down and the leaves and stuff. But underneath that is a layer of something called duff, which is the decomposing material that is between this stuff and the soil. And a lot of times people think their fires are out and what they don't know is that if it's not totally out, a spark will catch underneath what you can see in the duff and the fire will travel above the soil but underneath the, the top layer of stuff and pop out somewhere else where it has oxygen. And I asked him if that's what this looked like and he thought it could be. My friends that were camping here said that they saw a few people that would leave their fire smoldering and leave. So it's possible that a fire got in the duff and just popped out over here but I'm really grateful that it didn't hit our camping area and didn't um, ruin the rodeo that came the next day. So look out for the next video because I'm gonna tell you about how rowdy that rodeo got. But I just wanna thank the Forest Service because they keep these places safe while we're camping. And luckily it was out and they did a really great job. I hope to see you all out there someday soon. Until then, I wish you all happy travels and be free.